tank picks have started. It's a two for the attacking team pick. Then right. the defending team in red on the bottom picks four. Four. The attacking team picks three. Then two. Then one. So mm -hmm. that's what you can see here as we get ready for Himmelsdorf. And remember, this is Himmelsdorf. So um, lately, I feel like this 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 second round actually has been a significant change in the Himmelsdorf meta where we have been seeing multiple E100s, multiple 60 TPs, IS4s, E3s, mice with the exception of um the 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 less heavy tanks have been VZs, 50 Bs and like uh, a, an occasional 277. Mm -hmm. And that's really and just the going have been falling out of favor because of it. Correct. It's like the one sure but we're not seeing a lot of that like double VZ double fast mover tanks and yeah, mm -hmm. you're bringing up 60 TP is a staple of some of these teams. You can see two of them being brought for Tomatitas. And the IS-4 is just solid. They're, they're realizing they don't need the 277's raw speed to get the positions that they want. Yeah. And they're just like, you know, why and not just bring another and, like and, and, 600 and, and things, plus HP? And things that make the IS-4 bad in pubs, like it's low ammo count and, you know, it's derpy gun, um, aren't really that big of a factor in a small comp because a lot of time... A lot of times when you're getting into these scenarios, I mean, it's just like you're not shooting anybody across the map. You know, a lot of these maps are attack defense and you're getting into engagements that are less than, what, 250 meters away. And so that mm -hmm. gun is fine. You know what I mean? And 30 rounds is more than enough in a six on six. If you have to shoot all your if you end up shooting all your ammo in your IS4, not only do you deserve MVP for the season, but you need to have a talk with your team. <laughs> yeah. And you know what map you're going into. Like as crazy Correct. as that is, it's not a one band map or two band exactly. map situation. It's like you know what you're going to. You're not going, oh no. It's, yeah, you're not going, oh no. It's Corellia and I'm in an oh, IS4. No. Well, this right. is gonna exactly. be slow. And I mean, and look at that, <laughs> look at the HP that these monsters get. Borderline 2,900. Yeah. Look at, look, I mean, this is six people. This is a six on six and we have 1,700 versus, six, you know, 16.7K. I mean, this is insane amount of HP. You can see Luxon's angle there. If anyone, he does not have a shot on October if he pushes up the eight line. But he would if he pushed up a little bit, but the problem is it's not going to be spotted and he'd be kind of out in the open. If anyone were to cut five line and go up the courtyard, he has a very easy shot and he's sitting there pre-aimed, making sure that if it were to happen, he can pen it. And Surf sitting very tight on this corner, trying not to be spotted from the hill. And he can be angled and he can hopefully get one shot on someone crossing, but October takes a smart route in and has Surf back off. You can see those lovely loadouts there. Mm -hmm. And the E3's been brought more consistently. Like we said at first, it was like it was used in that turtle defense, and it was it's used for B0 by the attacking team a lot, and he'll play right. B0. It's um, so powerful at this burn. It's I know down, that, and it's just <clears throat> so much alpha on a I know down. that I know that like Jack is AFK got mad at me for calling it the Jack Strat, but they were even though in past seasons there were other teams that brought it, they were the only one bringing it. Um in the beginning of this season and i feel like everybody just kind of they kind of set the tone where people were trying new things with uh you know double vz and they're they were doing fast lineups and they just realized at the end of the day it's himmelsdorf and himmels is going to mm -hmm. be himmels in the e3 so consistent with its penetration it's able to bully off lanes right and be something that if it's allowed to fire it's going to pen its shots against these these tanks with its penetration <laughs> and it's going to give you enough alpha and and good enough dpm it's not going to be the highest DPM, but it's good enough. It's 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 solid. But it's so right such an here, this is really interesting. So we have Major Pain December and October forward, are going forward here, while Muscles and Supernova are looking probably to pick Luxon, and they have a three. They have an overmatch on this side, and I don't know how they're going to flex for this. They were set up for a hill, and now they're kind of the E three is has to back up. He can't turn around because their E three is getting aggressive. It looks like the mouse and the E three are going to get. Um, in a fight on the offside, but Luxon looking to get a shot on De December, and he does. And it looks yeah, like they're Luxon's coming no in pretty good, pick. but December is, yeah, yeah, he is no longer a pick. Um, but the VZ most likely is going to come in here and try to help mm -hmm. um, help with that HP here. Major Pain taking some hits here, looking for a shot on either Hector or Sheep. They're having December go down to get crossfire, so the E3... And the IS-4 actually realized that, and they're just pushing out. 
And the mouse. And oh my gosh, Sebastian's having his way with Kenway. Oh on the my berm. gosh. That's one of the rough problems with having no turret. Is and it looks like, like they are happen. they are counter pushing here very well. December literally actually becoming useless here as he tried to, you know, push in his E100 and get yeah the E100 wreck is actually up by double the HP. Double the and HP. We know the mouse is going to kill the E3, and it, it. I think there were some very little things that were done right by Tomatitos where mm -hmm. for example Luxon we've seen that position before and people have panicked and tried to figure out like he he waited and watched them cross that free line and then he tucked in he waited he knew that there was nothing to pressure him and he just was going to be taking a long time for them to come pick and he just got damage out the whole time and no one could yep. really stop him and so really uh, heads up play by him and the guys on the three and they got their damage out and all these high alphas my god and it, it, it was the right play to have December do that, but the problem is he needed to be in something fast. Like, let's say, for example, instead of December being there, if they had muscles in that three-man group, that probably would have been a really good play, right? Getting a VZ into, like, A2, because he also would have been fast enough to flex down. But instead, they had an E100 do it, and I feel like it just didn't have that kind of uh, oomph, right, that they needed, you know, because it just wasn't fast enough and didn't have that, like, a 1,000 um, damage potential. Luxon will pick up muscles here in a second, but October mm -hmm. will be able to get him afterwards. And actually, Luxon's going to shoot October. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, he killed the VC because you have two slow tanks. And so, I mean, you've won, but just just make sure that nothing too insane happens. I'm literally know? watching this, and then I'm realizing that I didn't do my fantasy picks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I think what pro the problem that happened to Verbology is they brought the E3 on hill and sent it to B0 mm -hmm. and all that. Right. But it ended up being somewhat of useless. Yeah, it did get picked. It, it kept the mouse occupied for a while, and there was a 5v5 kind of happening on the other side. Well, uh, well, sort of a 5v5. If you count, the, if you count sheep and, and the uh, IS-4 flexing over, which took a little bit of time. But in the end, that, that E3 at B0 ended up doing basically nothing. Mm. And if they're gonna bring the E3 to go B0 and do some of this stuff, their strat almost pretty much has to be centered on the 2-cap. Because otherwise they're just kind of destining themselves to not have a gun in the fight. Right. But I think uh, what they tried to do is they tried to make it a bait. And it... And it the yeah. Thing, the, the thing with this is the fact that... Uh, um, I think Sheep, as a caller... I mean, did you see how fast that flex was for, for such a slow lineup? Mm -hmm. Because I thought that they were going to get more picks off, and they did not get as many picks as I thought. And to top I it all off... I think the bait was a really astute observation, by the way. Because that IS-4 being lit going 8-line, mm -hmm. and the way that he was going 8-line, and then coming mm -hmm. into the... All of that, and, and the E3 at B0, all of that screamed were going to the north cap. And yeah. then they moved it was, those E100s. It was a really good bait. They were that they that the enemy team had sort of thrown more resources towards the two cap at that point, and they and did they hadn't yet. And I mean, and well, they, well, they got safe on the on the two line, right? right? Like it, it, they did. They were looking for someone to be pickable there, and they just ended up couldn't find someone. And really astute by also Tomatitos for kind of not. They looked really disciplined. Mm -hmm. They did. Sorry to cut you off. I just had to like. I think you you actually hit the nail on the head on what verbology we're thinking of doing. There. Mm -hmm. It was a yeah. mind game. Yeah. No, it was a hundred percent a mind game. But the problem is Tomatitos didn't like. They didn't fall for it, right? Um, mm -hmm. they had three on the north cap, but I feel like I, you know, in their defense, that's all they needed, right? All they needed there right. was a E three, an IS four, and a mouse. The fifty B can flex, uh, and the two sixty TPs are going to play where they need to play, right? And so it was one of those things where I feel like if they had a faster lineup, they might have been baited more, right? Because if you have a faster lineup, you need the tanks to get there more because they're not going to be able to take soak up as much damage, right? So they have to get mm -hmm. the guns shooting down at the hill and the crossing and stuff like that. So it's just, I think it was really good showing from both teams, uh, you know, so far. It wasn't like, Obvious Burbology was going to lose. It wasn't a bad game by Burbology or anything. Mm -mm. It was more just a really well played by Tomatito. Like I mean, I you actually, have to realize like, it was a good. It's it's, it's hard to 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 win a hundred percent of your games and have a winning streak right. every time. And like, I I commend Burbology on the 
the plan because it makes sense what they yeah and you also have to realize that it was 17k versus 16k so even though tomatitos has like 4k left in an average match that we've seen with a lighter lineup what it that averages around 12 both teams of 12k technically they would have had barely 2k left right so it still was a pretty close game if you if you look at it hp and, and tank wise I'm actually looking at the tank picks. I want to actually, so we talked before about the strategies of the tank picks. So Tomatitos begins Himmelstorf attack by immediately picking double VZ. Mm -hmm. Just on the last round, no team brought two VZ. There was only one VZ total brought. Right. What do you think it says about a lineup bringing double VZ as your first picks on attack? Is it because you don't feel like comfortable in say picking 160 TP at the beginning or something like that? I, that's actually a really good question. So what you're basically saying is like they pick two VZs um, and then they see the, the other four to see kind of what they could use to counter. And I guess if they're going to go heavier or lighter, but if you right. were starting a Himmelsdorf attack, what would your two tanks be that you ready up right now? I guess it would just depend on the strat, right? But I think mm-hmm. I would rather pick one of each than I two agree. of the same. I agree. Like because one, what if 60, you one IS four and one uh, VZ or something like that? Yeah, like if you if you're because I feel like teams are always bringing an IS four and attack now. Like you could pick an IS four and a sixty TP and not give it anything away to the defensive team on what you're doing, right? Yeah, you know that VZ could be the lighter part of your lineup to be that mm-hmm. soul flex tank with the clip. Yeah, or like a, either either an IS four and a VZ. Because yeah. that gives nothing away, or an IS four and a sixty TP. I mean, they're known for playing sixty TPs, right? So it's not mm-hmm. really giving anything. I mean, most teams are now known for playing sixty TPs. So we're not really. It's not getting anything. Like you're not. You know, we are in. We yeah. are in the sixty TP meta, and I don't think it's a bad one. <laughs> I think it's a really interesting one, to be honest with I, you. I think the sixty TP is not like a bad tank for meta. I don't think that it. it even when it came out, it was not overpowered. It had its very strong suits, and it had its weak. You know. It Didn't has it have the like viewport hatch, right? It, it's got the derpy gun, but like if it hits, it's good. It doesn't have overpowered pen. I, it doesn't have. Yeah. It's 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 got its like you know pseudo side scrapey. It's got its sort of HP. It's got its. I the felt like when I it was know, introduced, it was really well balanced. I just didn't. The only enjoy the only thing I remember about the sixty TP is that um players that like are really used to playing super heavies were like three marking it with HE only. That's all I remember. Oh God. Before the HE oh, yeah, especially changes, then, well, yeah, Chieftain had been out at that point, and, mm-hmm. and Super Conqueror was king. And plus I just stuff, remember, so, I just remember yeah. fighting against the sixty TP uh, old HE uh, before, uh, you know, during old HE. It's kind of weird to call it that too, old HE, but it really old is H-E. different now. It's only, it's mm-hmm. only like three months old, <laughs> <laughs> right? But um, but basically, hey, Hector, like this. Look how fast an IS four is moving. You wouldn't like know it. I mean, it does take <laughs> one shot of damage. <laughs> But it's like, you know, the IS-4 with... Wait, with what's these, his equipment? Uh, what if he has, like, oil or something? He has a no? turbo. Oh, he just has a turbo. Wow, that's just turbo? I feel like almost it's that would have hard been... hard terrain. Hard terrain resistance. I thought he might have had a governor. Because did you see that? I mean, he was yeah. mobbing. The, the hard terrain resistance on a lot of Russian heavies for soft stats is very, very good. While mm-hmm. it's medium and soft terrain resistance is abysmal the i7 is like the king of that statistic I, i've known that for a long time where it's yes like the second the is7 turns on anything but pavement it just goes from 60 to zero really quick, right. right and then there's but a field mod, similar right and there's a field mod that everybody takes it gives plus plus seven percent to maintain it's plus seven percent oh. to maintain um speed on all terrain so mm-hmm. you know it's basically helping with those soft stats that you're talking about with all the terrain and mm-hmm. so that's like a I mean, that basically, I mean, the thing is, like, it's buffing the IS-4, but it's also buffing everything out here on the battlefield. Like, I feel like everybody uh, has that on their, on their tank, you know? Um, it's mm-hmm. kind of become like a, it's one of those things, like, uh, it's like a staple, right? I guess Herbology. is what you would call. Playing mobile split with double IS-4, showing us that, like, yeah, the, we're talking about the IS-4 from Tomatitos, but... Mm-hmm. Showing that against the slow lineups, though, they can do something like those two IS-4s. I mean, if we saw double VZ, double IS-7, double 277 on the attacking team, those two IS-4s, Nova and, and, uh, who was it? Uh, Nova and, uh, Major could could not do that. 
but it's, very smart by Verbology because they're they're smart players and they know the timings and they're like we're just gonna go here to just slow things down and give us better idea and you know maybe bleed some time and we're at five minutes now we are at five minutes um so this is really interesting i uh i would like to think of myself as uh some like somebody that kind of knows what's going on when I watch, uh, you know, like two teams fight. But like I, I'm like these two VCs are going up the hill, and the only thing I could think of is like they're planning on, uh, pushing down the B lane at one point, because there's no shot they push A lane it, across. It means that their strategy on two line they found with the I seven there. They're like we can't dislodge it. It's not going to happen. Or the their only strategy now is it's no longer two cap or one cap right. or two line. It's going to be something towards the hill and those ice force are actually going towards the eight line again and towards the hill and they're just thinking how they're going to do it and right now the 60p look at this timing though those is fours and the vz's he if he lights if that vz lights one or both of those is fours look at this flex muscle 50b is, is crossing do you think oh, he's no 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 wait if lux and poke oh my god if lux and poked at that moment i mean that would have been free that because maybe even the really good intel yeah it, plus the e3 probably might have been able to just clap him it's crazy how far this E3 has gotten up without getting VZs, lit. Uh, they're not going to like this, are they? Like, no. They're going to not be able to run away from this, and Muscles will be able to come support as well afterwards. They're going to run into these double eyes force and be like, uh-oh. Oh, wait, the eyes force are flexing out, though. They're going to oh have their gosh. booties. Look at this timing. This is they're actually god-tier timing. Healing, but they have no, wow, now this is no insane. Oh my god, if they oh This is this really is bad so, for Verbology. This, this is really, really bad. bad. And 50 B's coming down look, the five line. They're gonna light oh, Yo, look at Floki, Floki just... stops! Oh my god, he take they take a shot here. While the and then the 50 B's on the five line and the 60 TP's are looking to cross, they're gonna get shots on the 50 B maybe here too. The 50 B is just playing really aggro. The 60 TP's he's are like, running. we're gonna pick and yep, he's getting lit! Oh the snap connects! Oh my no god, fire. and he catches on fire! Oh, and now the now the VZs know they can just pick the 50B. They're just going to 50-50B, and they're letting the 60 TPs fight out the IS-4s. Only and one they're of those... they're going to run in front of the E3's gun as well. But, but it's not going to matter. Time. Like, it's just one 750 shot for 2,000 damage. That's a good trade. They're just going to keep driving. Yeah, yeah they're just going to keep really driving because they... Tomatitos. It's, it's really good minutes, for Tomatitos. But this is really good. The, these eyes force just... They made an aggressive play, and Fluky does pick up muscle. They made an aggressive play, and they're getting punished yeah, hard and for Yeah, they're it. getting punished on the offside. Tomatitos is literally losing offside, by the way. Um, Just to update people on that. Um, But mm -hmm. it looks like... I mean, they they're winning... The seven, yeah, but they're but winning now, this at such lost. a... But they're winning this at such... A high damage... It's really actually unfortunate they lost one of their VZs in this scenario. They'll ignore Major. They'll go straight for this for E3. the E3. Ignore Major, kill the E3, and then either deal with the tanks in the courtyard or just drive towards Cap. And honestly, I would probably just drive towards the Cap. I I mean, no, nah, you you can kill him. You can kill him. They just need to make sure they they delete the C3 and ideally. Oh my God! Oh, who shot HG? HG? I think it was HG is out of Luxon. Mm -hmm. Really? The, and the E3 has what like 37? Yeah, armor? it's it's something low. It's it's I know it's a I know it's below fifty, and I know for a fact that the sixty TP has like sixty eight HE pen, which is more than enough to consistently. You know what I mean? Even if you low roll, you're still gonna pen. Oh, Luxon not able to do damage because his teammate was helping him uh, as they do in pub battles. Oh, heat oh. shell going into the side of the dice for showing you some of the eyes for armor profile. The 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 way the armor works. With but the here's the thing the now now right now face. serve is a pick because of the way that they drove. Yeah, they drove way too far past. Major, that's a heads up play. And there's a minute left, and they need to make sure they start moving guns, and they need to, like, they need to kill this IS-4 now, and things are a bit awkward, because they have to kill the IS-4, and, and not let is them get the away, because one... they did not run towards the cap. Yeah, so the one thing that's really weird here is, I personally, if I was Luxon, may have just tried to block Major for the two low HP guys, right? So that they can get their shots off. Get a track shot. I think he did. He landed that track shot. Oh. And then Luxon is not able to pen. He's able to just get a zero damage track. There's 45 seconds. If this he is, shoots this Luxon, is, this is very if easy comes here. The problem is the E3 is so slow, but has all the HP. Oh, Fluky needs to not poke. And yeah, E3's coming. He'll get his shot in if they both pen. And... Oh, no. Oh, my Jesus. And I think you're a second behind me because I just didn't. 
Oh my goodness. This Yeah, he just wins these and then and then they just win by time. Ooh. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, I think you're a couple seconds behind me, so I didn't like scream when things happened. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't want to spoil it, but uh, that right there, that end game, mm -hmm. look, Verbology got caught. We said that, but right. that was Verbology playing themselves out of a bad situation, and they almost took a win from being able to draw that because Tomatitos let it bad habits of like pub farming damage kind of get in their heads. Right, right. Like, they were getting baited into areas where it took too long and they're in slow vehicles instead of like when they killed that E3, it was like. You should probably just have at least two of you just keep I mean, driving north on to the be honest with you, just get on the cap. Ma Major Payne's pathing path there in the in that entire game was amazing. Like the way yes. he like way he got up, he was playing hold down and then dropped into the courtyard for free and then drove past the other guys because they like had that like you said like that pub mentality where they drove past and left serve to die and and I mean it was just, it was just really good and he actually literally almost won it for his team now if it's like one of those things where like if equipment 2.0 wasn't a thing like they would have lost because like uh, maybe well everybody would have been slower so i don't know about that but like the e3 definitely had if the e3 didn't have turbo ggs and i'm pretty sure the e3 had turbo because he was like mobbing you know what i mean and you could say stuff about this is where even in pop bells and in, in tournaments i always had problems when someone like we something like this would happen in a scrim mm-hmm and imagine this was a scrim game. This is where you have a serious discussion afterwards about looking at the clock and reading the situation and understanding. Because you have to make your own luck to an extent I mean, this game. Yes, bad RNG can happen, but Major Pain was playing, like he was giving his team as much potential as they could. And right. Tomatitos did run, like you could say, oh, well, nine times out of 10, this, eight times. He landed a tracking shot on the move, so I didn't get the shot out. Then my shot went out and went to the side of my right. It's like, yes, but you shouldn't be in this situation to begin with. You should have just gotten on the cap, guys. Like, and then this would have never possibly happened. But it, another we, thing we that... Maybe, but look at the damage. Right. Sheep the the damage was Sheep did really good. I mean, it, he had to do a lot towards the end there. Um, another thing to... Another thing to point out is the fact that Tomatitos most likely actually should have lost that game. And I'm not saying that because, like, they're bad or anything... It's just the fact that they literally caught the ass end of two IS-4s when not even 10 seconds before that happened, the IS-4s were facing them, right? Um, and it was one yeah. of the, I mean, the timing was so in favor of Tomatitos in so many scenarios. In the 50B crossing scenario, in the IS-4 flexing scenario, I mean, there was so many timing i mean the timing where the e3 and the 60 tps were getting into positions for free without it getting lit i mean we can go on and on basically hector was the only person lit on tomatitos for what the first like two and a half minutes until uh things started popping off that's insane 